You know, I was thinking today about the real women of Philadelphia.com, and I was thinking about how it's really become a place where we can be real women. But even more than that, I think that it's become a place where being a real woman is celebrated and we actually have permission to be ourselves. And I've been so impressed at the um, finalists as they've been selected. They're, they're people that I would hang out with and friends I would have over to dinner. And I'm so grateful that the Real Women of Philadelphia.com has stayed true to an idea that celebrates womanhood and, and who we are and all of our imperfect perfection. So thank you so much for Paula Dean and for all of the people behind the scenes at Real Women of Philadelphia. Thank you for letting us let our hair down, or in my case, thank you for letting me pull it up into a ponytail because it's in a ponytail almost every day. So I was thinking on that note, what would it really be like for you to be in my kitchen today? And so I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what it's like. And I hope that you would want to come and hang out with me because there's so many of you that I would love to have in my kitchen. So many new friends and um, warm bodies out there that are, are just full of love and goodness. And I love that. I love thinking of the world like that. So our neighborhood is having a garage sale today, and that is why I'm bundled up. It's the middle of May. I live in Colorado Springs, and would you believe that it actually snowed yesterday? It's the middle of May. <laughs> I'm so sad. I need spring and summer here, but in the meantime, it's freezing cold. I had to bundle up because we were having a garage sale, and my kids just think garage sales are the most amazing things ever. But our neighbors have been out for two weekends in a row having a garage sale, and things have been really financially tight for them. And so, bless their hearts, they're out there in this freezing, freezing cold day. Um, it could snow or rain at any minute. And so, as I was coming in, I thought, I, I, I was coming in to make myself lunch, and I thought it would be really fun to take them some lunch over. So, I haven't been shopping. I don't have a lot in the fridge, but I pulled together a couple of things that um, would make some sloppy joes and they're not just any regular sloppy joes because that would be boring if I'm going to take dinner to somebody I want it to be something wonderful so let's go over and make that and then I'm going to run it over to them and hope that it warms their bellies and gives them a good day because they're good people so sloppy joes I'm browning up some ground beef so if you want to make this recipe um, then you just have to brown up a pound of ground beef and there's there's four people over in my neighbor's house and so I'm hoping to make enough to feed them and then have some leftover for my kids for dinner tonight. And that's been one of the best parts of Entree Week is that dinner is already done because I will prepare my videos in the afternoon and then I have everything ready for the kids. So nice. I love that. Okay, so brown ground beef. All right, that ground beef is done, and um, there's a little bit of fat that I drained, and so now I'm going to add some garlic. I was thinking that, you know, I could make um, normal sloppy joes, but I thought it would be really fun to make them kind of like with a little bit of Thai influence. I really love Thai food, and I love the warmth of it, and the spiciness and the flavors, and so on a day like today when it's freezing cold in the middle of May, I'm not angry about that at all, then this will be a, this will be kind of nice, I think. Good flavors and nice heat in your belly. So um, let's see, two tablespoons of garlic and about a half cup of um, ketchup. And then I thought I'd put in just a, a tablespoon or so of sesame oil. Maybe that's actually more like a teaspoon. That, that stuff punches some, got some serious kick. A little bit of Worcester, and then, oh, I need soy sauce. Hold on. Okay, and then a little bit of soy sauce to give it that nice, you know, mm, flavor. And I have a little bit of Thai chili sauce. I think I'm going to put that in there. And my next door neighbor, I think he'll really, her boyfriend is over there, and he'll really like this. So I get the feeling from him. He's a biker. I think he's going to like it with a little heat. So, there we go. 
So I'm just going to let that simmer. Oh, and it needs some brown sugar, don't you think? We'll make it sweet. Because, you know, sloppy, sweet sloppy joes are better than not sweet sloppy joe. Okay, so that's just going to sit there and simmer for us. And just get nice and thick. We're going to taste it. Make sure. Make sure I approve. I will play her. Yeah, see, that's good. Mm hmm. And super easy. Okay, then. I thought it would be really good topped with some coleslaw. And if you've watched my videos before, you will know that I do not have good knives. But my friend the other day came and brought me all of her old knives. <laughs> so now we have some, some sort of goodish knives. Like I can actually make coleslaw now because before I couldn't make it. So I'm just going to, you know, dice that coleslaw up. About a half a head of cabbage is enough. And then I thought that in this, it would be really good to put some purple onion. Ooh, I'm gonna move that out of the way. And I think I'll just dice it up kind of smallish because I want it to get in like all the flavors. I'm excited. I love purple onion because it's pretty. And pretty is always nice. One of the first things I ever memorized when I was a newlywed was a plaque that a friend gave us about, when of thy mortal goods thou art bereft, and from thy slender store two loaves alone to thee are left, sell one, and with thy dole, thy hyacinths to feed the soul. I've always believed in buying hyacinths before bread, although I do like buying bread, because food is good. So I'm gonna put some lime juice in here, and a little bit of cilantro. And I've washed this cilantro. And then when that all goes in there, I think what I'm gonna do is mix some mayonnaise, which is, you know, a fairly traditional coleslaw topping. But I thought it would be really good to mix it with cream cheese for a couple of reasons. First, because I don't like how the mayonnaise gets kind of wet at the end. And second of all, because I like the thicker flavor that cream cheese will offer. And so a pop of mayonnaise and about two tablespoons of cream cheese. And I'm using the lower fat cream cheese. I won't tell the biker next door, but that should be good. And then a little bit of sugar and some peanuts. Doesn't that sound good? It sounds so good. I might have to have for lunch and dinner. Stir it up and then we'll get it ready to serve. And then I'm gonna take it over to them. Okay. The countertops are a little bit messy, but I'm going to clean that up later because it's ready. And actually, it was ready faster than I thought it would be, which I'm so glad. Because I want to make sure that I get lunch to them before, to those neighbors, before they go and get lunch themselves. I love that food can always be such a nice surprise to people. I think that's one of my favorite things about food. So I've got these hoagie buns and what I'm going to do is I'll just make one for you but then I'm going to make the rest for them and buzz them over. I'm just going to put some meat there and you know the worst thing about the season is allergies keep hitting and it's cold and nothing's growing so I can't figure out for the life of me why it can't just be warm but look at that it's okay because we have nice warm food today and there we go it's um a thai inspired sloppy joe with this beautiful coleslaw on top made possible by philadelphia cream cheese and that beautiful flavor that goes when you mix it together with good food and i'm off to go feed the neighbors and hope that you have a wonderful day Thank you so much for coming to Colorado Springs. I hope next time you come that it will be warm. Oh, fingers crossed. Bye-bye. Okay, quick postscript. I took the sandwiches over to the neighbors and I did catch them. So they got to eat a warm lunch that um, we prepared. So thank you for helping me prepare it. And before I took a sandwich over, I snuck a bite. Okay, I didn't sneak a bite. I snuck a whole sandwich because I was going to sneak a bite, but they were too good. So I ate the whole sandwich. And there's enough left over for a little bit for later. So I'm going to eat it or I'll share it with you. Whatever. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye-bye.